adding colors onto your Zentangles. With these, you're just looking to tint your paper and have a really thin coat of color, um, like a tinted piece of glass, and it will not hide any of your marker lines, but it will give you a nice base color for when you do colored pencils over the top of them. Um, the paper we are using is not watercolor paper, so it can't handle getting totally saturated. There should never be a point in time where if I pick up my paper, the watercolor would run. It should always just be like a little bit of water that's just tinting the paper. So what I'm going to do is take my colors. Let's say I wanted to do this area with some cool colors. Um, I wanted to use yellows and greens and blues and I wanted to use that in here. Uh, I can start off with the lightest version of those colors. So maybe I'm going to start off with my yellow. I'm going to take some water, put it into my color, swirl it around, and then I can just pinch off this color right into my lid and from that point on I can add some water oh, my brush just came up right there add some water into this and keep the color really thin I can even change it a little bit by adding a little bit of green to it so now I'm going to make it a little bit more of a yellow green versus just a yellow and when I go to paint that on here it should just be a really thin coat right now that's kind of puddly um, that's too much water. So I wanna squeeze off that extra paint into the lid or dry it off on the paper towel, and I can just take and spread this color around. The all-purpose brush would also work for this because it's not gonna hold quite as much water, so it's a little bit easier to manage where the paint goes. And remember, we're going over this with colored pencils, so it's not going to have to be totally perfect and totally neat.